congressman to uh, turn down the votes, and it's a worthy cause to say don't vote for Nicaragua funds. These policies are made a long time in advance, and I firmly believe that the only way to stop this kind of activity is to hit the power structure. On this program on KKUP, people, various people were uh, presenting information, and Daniel Ellsberg was on, and Danny Sheehan, and Martha Honey, and Sarah Nelson, and John Judge, and Barbara Honiger, and uh, a lot of people contributing, Brian Wilson, on the problem of funding Nicaragua and the uh, suit that da Danny Sheehan has. But in order to assure that these things don't happen, that they don't happen again, we have to some way find that a man who's elected the president doesn't have to take orders from Kissinger and Brzezinski and Fred Ickley on what is going to happen for the next 20 years. It's already decided what they will do. And one of the things they decided, the blueprint, as I mentioned last week, was to have certain areas where you'd have continuous wars, that they wouldn't be uh, solved, that they would go on continuously and uh, low-intensity conflicts, and that they would uh, be part of the operation that would be written into the plans. Now, a gentleman uh, whose name I've had on the air many times, Fritz Kramer, uh, I referred to an article a while back, program number 779, it was August 27, 1981, that faceless Fritz Kramer at the Pentagon shares offices uh, with the Undersecretary of the Defense Department, Fred Ickley. Kramer has occupied a post at Undersecretary Fred Ickley's office in the Defense Department in 1981, right at the point that his protégés are preparing to assume emergency rule by decree over the United States. And it's very important, again, to know if Fritz Kramer was the Waffen SS Fritz Kramer, that was Hitler's right hand man with Otto Skorzeny, because Skorzeny rescued Borghese, and Borghese has made a lot of policies in the United States and with the intelligence. And Fritz Kramer has his proteges, Henry Kissinger, Alexander Haig, and Zbigniew Brzezinski, and the, these proteges of his work right with Fred Ickley, and at this time, he was working at the Office for Emergency Planning at the Defense Department. And that went under Mr. Gafrida and Ollie North, and North a protege of these very people. So Fred Ickley, who made the blueprints for the next 20 years, and then just last week said now he would step down, and Richard Armitage, linked to Theodore Shackley and Kung San, the drug traffic, would take his place. Fred Ickley is so important because of the Office of Emergency Service that one incident, one agent provocateur incident, just like the Reichstag, and we'd be in the hands of this faceless Fritz Kramer and Fred Ickley, and it may be that's why Ickley stepped down, so he could then work in the emergency service right with and under Fritz Kramer, and Kramer also shares offices with Daniel Graham of Star Wars. In the Washington Post, 